Okay, here we are. Um, just below the 46th parallel, up in, uh, what is this, Township 37 maybe? 47? We're at, we've on a several day adventure to the Katahdin Woods and Waters National Monument. We've been here since about 2016, I guess, when the land was donated by Roxanne Quimby to the, to the feds, uh, and so designated by President Obama uh, that year. Uh, we're camping at the Lunxus campsite, uh, which is on the main step, main stem of the east branch of the Penobscot River. Uh, what we're doing here this morning is we're in search of the what's likely the state champion silver maple tree that was last measured in the late 1990s. It's on a it's on a floodplain on the opposite side of the river from where we're camped. We had considered accessing it by uh, canoeing down the river, ferrying over, uh, you know, to the to the floodplain and then searching. We have a pretty good idea where it is from the previous people who located it. Uh, however, due to the very, we've had just a ton of rain this summer. The river is very high. Um, we decided to access this by land through an old system of logging roads. We're actually on a block of private land in the middle of the monument. I think it's managed by Prentice and Carlisle still. Sort of surrounding Hunt Mountain, which would be to our west. We've driven up a logging road uh, that was probably put in 30 years ago, something like that. It comes up an esker, and and we've encountered, and what we need to do is get across a uh, sandbank stream, which is right here. I was hope We were hoping we were going to be able to just, uh, you know, wade this, right, walk across it. Um, but it's, again, because of the high water, that, you know, it's only, a, what, eight feet across here, but it's probably six or eight feet deep, so we're not going to attempt that. Instead, we've got our, we went back to the campsite and got our trusty Old Town Tripper. Arguably the best boat ever made, right? We've taken that on any number of adventures and it's still here. So we're just going to use this to just ferry across Sandbank Stream and uh, walk maybe three quarters of a mile up this old road and then into the woods, into the floodplain, and we'll see what we find. All right. Okay. We finally made it into the stand. Uh, after maybe an hour of exploration around here, uh, there are no trees anywhere near the reputed 98-inch silver maple. Not even close. The biggest one we've seen, uh, somewhat bigger than the one I'm standing by, was 41 inches. So I, I don't think that tree ever existed. Um, We'll just have to investigate that further when we get back to the office. Nevertheless, this is this is one of the most remarkable forest stands I've ever been in anywhere, certainly in Maine, uh, and it's just so unique. This is a we're in a silver maple floodplain forest in the Wasatiquick Eco Ecological Reserve in the Maine Bureau of Parks and Lands, which is most of the eastern end of that sort of east-west. Uh, unit south of where the Wissatiquick uh, stream comes into the east branch of the Penobscot and we're in a floodplain where the east branch takes a, a, a an abrupt bend to the west and then back to the south so who knows I mean I have no idea the, the ecology of the, this forest type is, as far as I know never been studied these trees are obviously very old and massive uh, I've, I've never seen a stand with such a skewed <laughs> diameter distribution. I mean, almost everything here is over 20 inches. Uh, I don't see, there's very little or no regeneration, so you have to wonder how these things are maintained. But is this an old even age stand dating from some ancient deluge? Who knows? Um, we'll probably never know because these would be very difficult to age if even possible. Um, Again, it's been very wet and lush, so the understory here is incredibly lush. It's mostly fern and other species that I uh, can't really identify because you don't see them on the uplands, right? These are why it's an eco reserve. So a very rare, very unique place. I mean, last year we went to Big Reed Reserve, uh, and that's that's typical uh, upland old growth. This is I don't know of another place in Maine where you'd even find this uh, old growth silver maple. 
Um, so the biggest tree we measured was 41 inches. That's probably not a state champion. And I don't know that there's many, I don't think I've seen one that's even five feet here. Nevertheless, it's, you know, if we took the basal area plot here, you'd, I don't, it's hard to know what you would get. But it's just very sort of op classic open park-like condition with nothing but big old trees and a lush understory that's probably maintained as herbaceous plants by annual flooding, right? That takes out the, any tree regeneration that comes in. 